Assume that Japan and Korea can switch between producing cars and producing airplanes at a constant rate. Assume that Japan and Korea each has 2400 hours available. If each country spends all its time producing the good in which it has a comparative advantage and trade takes place, it takes place at a price of 12 cars for 6 airplanes, then... So, let's figure out this question. First, let's look at the table provided and we're going to cross out this right here. It's not important. Instead, we're going to be focusing our attention on the values given here. Next, we're going to make a production's possibilities frontier curve between the two countries. So right down here, we have the production possibilities frontier curve. On the y-axis, we're going to have cars. And for Japan, the most it can do at this point will be 80 units. And for airplanes, it'll be 16. Now we go over here and do the same for Korea. Korea, the most it can make is 48 units of cars and 16 units of airplanes. So now they're going to trade, but who's going to trade which commodity? To find that out, we have to do comparative advantages. And we start off by creating a ratio between the production possibility frontier curve. So here we have 80 cars to 16 airplanes. And we're going to compare the airplanes. And to do this, we'll divide by 80. And this gives us 1. And if we divide this out, this gives us point we we'll do the same thing over here for Korea's production possibilities frontier curve. So we have 48 to 16. We're only interested in the number of airplanes, so we divide by 48. So this gives us 1. And this gives us 0.33. So this value is greater than 0.2. So Korea has a comparative advantage in making airplanes. Now, we'll go ahead and do this once more to figure out who has the comparative advantage for the cars. So once again, we do 80 to 16. This time, instead of dividing by 80, we're interested in comparing the cars, so we divide by 16. This gives us 1, and this gives us 5. And then we repeat the process over here, 48 to 16, divide by 16 on both sides. This gives us 3. So f 5 is greater than 3, and this quantity belongs to Japan. So Japan has the comparative advantage for making cars. So Japan is going to trade cars because it, that's what it will specialize in. And Korea will trade airplanes, because that is what it specializes in. And how much they trade was given in the question here. So Japan will give up 12 cars in order to gain 6 airplanes. And Korea will give up 6 airplanes to obtain 12 cars. So let's break this down further into what each country will consume. So Japan will consume 68 cars. And we figured this out because if it's going to specialize in making cars, it's going to produce all 80 of these. And since it's going to give away, or I should say trade 12 cars, what they have left is 68 cars for themselves. And I should write consumes right here. So it has 68 cars left for its own country to consume. And it will be given six airplanes. And this is because Korea will trade and give Japan six airplanes. So we can assume that Japan will also consume that amount. Now Korea will consume 10 airplanes. And this is because they're going to send six airplanes to Japan 
and the most they produce because this is what they specialize in now is 16 so 16 minus 6 is 10 left over and they're going to receive 12 cars from Japan which they will also consume which is the reason why they are trading now take a look at this specifically 12 cars that is a minuscule amount and Korea is not benefiting from this the reason is that if we take a look at this table here Korea already can produce 48 cars without even trading so it just lost 36 cars that they could have easily made themselves so to answer this question Japan is going to gain from the trade but Korea will not